WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished down 105, NASDAQ off 175, S&P's down 32. Let's go take a look at the SPY as well as the three Qs. We're coming into the Fed meeting tomorrow, folks. They, they started today, 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. They have the statement, 2.30. Uh, Powell has his news conference. So if we start with the SPY. You're going to see an expansion of volume, a little doji. That's telling me that uh, either intraday or when this uh, comes out tomorrow, that we're going to try to test the highs of the low, maybe even be right into the low end of this consolidation. That's the way this seems to be shaken out. So uh, I don't see the disaster, I can tell you that, uh, because what you, what you, when you're looking at this, it looks like the first move is only going to be to the lower end of this consolidation. And on the Qs, that's going to be a test of uh, 378. Right now, you have 388. You know, we did have an expansion of volume in the Qs. The Qs did 69 million. That's after the first high that was made with 61 million. The second high was made with 49 million. Then you get the swing low that's laying out here at uh, 84 million. So I expect that's going to get hit. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract. Bottom line inside the gold contract out here. You had gold down $16.50. Now, what gold did is that gold did reject lower price and had lighter volume. You know, I. It's going to be really tricky with gold because what I don't like is that yesterday we went up with 100,000 contracts. We went down today with 147. Now, we, we went to 1066, I mean, 1766. The swing low is 1762, 62.30. That swing low had 173,000 contracts. Well, we did 147 today. And you can see when you take a look at this consolidation, you know, it's a little tricky because what we have is that on Monday, you actually went up one volume. We went up with uh, 1.142,000. Then you died in the vine yesterday. Today, you're going down with volume. So the bottom line is that now we're going to test the lower end, and we'll see whether we die in the vine there. And it's going to be all about this good old U.S. dollar. And what the dollar did today is the dollar did get a bid today. It's been wavering back and forth, but today it picked, peaked its nose over the consolidation. Dollar went up 260 ticks. Laying out at 96.577, so that's saying, hey, the, the high is going to be game once again, 96.338. And what we will see, the Fed will move currencies tomorrow, that's for sure. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. There's going to be a lot of information, 9 o'clock in the morning. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks.